What is going on, XRP Arming? X going to give it to you or something like that. I read that somewhere. So look, there's some volatility that's ahead. I think that according to an analyst here, or a couple of analysts really, we're talking about a parabolic move that XRP is about to go on. Now look, if you followed me, you know my ultimate prediction is $25 for this cycle. And you know that I think that there's going to be a big impulse move to $4.20. But what about the local region right now? Where do I think it's going to go? Now if you follow me, then you know the answer to this already. And you know that it's about a 2x from where we are at this point. If you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button on your way in and let's kick this off. Step one is to recognize how much time we've got before a move would happen. While the deadline for such a move, and this is the appeal of the SEC, is uh, it has a deadline. It's October 7th. So right now, the agency has been very silent about whether they will pursue it or not. And why are they doing that? Well, it doesn't really make any sense to me that they would pursue it. That doesn't mean that they won't. But let's be clear here. The SEC said that they were happy with the results. They wanted to see XRP penalized, so they came out and said that they were happy with the results. If they're happy with the results, then that should be the end of it, shouldn't it? So I think that ultimately the SEC, because of the uncertainty of the election, because of the lack of clarity in the overall here, and because they're going to take their win, and if you remember, Terraform Labs just agreed to a, a penalty of 4.7 billion, which means that the SEC, they made their cake. They're already uh, to. They're, they're already set to eat their cake, if you will. Um, so I, I think that we're going to be fine here with this and in, in, in this context. So stick with me here. Now we're going to talk about price action, and this is what we have now, guys. Look, there is a parallel channel that's been playing out here for I want to say about seven years. And when you look at this, th could there be a move to the downside? That's going to be the question that you need to ask yourself. And look, this seems to be a little bit tighter than what I'm giving it credit for. A little bit more like this. And this one might be over the long term uh, a, a little bit tighter or it might be getting a little bit tighter, coiling up, if you will, for an explosive move after this little breakdown uh, or in July of this year, which I don't think. I think it was pretty much a fake out. But as you see here, as you zoom out, you start to see that this has really been going on for a long, a very, very long period of time. Okay. Um, but each one of these kind of gives you this inkling of an idea that we are coming into a spot with an imminent sort of breakout. Now, that imminent sort of breakout, let's zoom in just a bit. This is what it looks like on the shorter time frames. Now, um, it, it is entirely possible if you notice that we've hit the top here, the top here, the top here, the top here. And look, again, this channel is seven years old. So it is getting close to this imminent sort of breakout by the end of this year. So at any time from now until then, we could start having that breakout move. Now, uh, could there be another move to the downside? Yes, there could, but that puts us back into the golden zone, which is your accumulation range, which is in between uh, 48 and a half and 52. So there could be one more opportunity for a scoop up of some more tokens if you are so inclined and so interested with a big move. Now, remember, when we get into the bull run, everything pretty much hits that golden ratio. So what is the golden ratio and the immediate kick out on the reversal that we saw in July? Well, that number is $1.10. So it's about 100% from where we are right now. So I would expect that we're probably getting ready for a breakout type of move. Now, since we're at the top of this channel, the question would be, will there be another breakout? Here's the thing. Again, let's zoom out. We've been waiting seven years for an actual breakout of this trend line. If this breaks out, this is going to be your perfect entry position. Now, what should you do? So what you're looking for is a breakout of this position up above this green line and then a back test. This right here becomes your entry position on that back test. And then that should indicate that there's going to be a move here and to here coming up because you've finally broken out of your trend line. And basically what you've done is you've exhausted sellers in a way that allows for the growth of the project. Now, where should you be looking for resistance? Well, when you get past this range right here and you break out into 66, you've, you've very little resistance left. There's not a whole lot. Uh, at best, 75 cents, 76 cents in this range right here. 
and then it's on and on and on. Now, when you zoom out just a little bit more, you'll see right there at that 61, around 83 cents, you're going to have a big level of resistance. This entire zone, if you will, that we just talked about uh, could represent a little bit of resistance coming over right here. Uh, and then at $1.10 right there as well, you're going to be looking at some resistance, but that's it. That's it, guys. And then once that's been cleared, well, once that's been cleared, it's straight on to $3, maybe even $4.20, which I told you guys before, which actually works out on another FIB tool as a range if you take the reversal from this range right here, then it comes up to 420. So there are a lot of different pieces at play. Um, so be very, very careful uh, in your investment, but also remember that it really looks like we're about to break out. So, um, Make your, uh, make your investments accordingly and choose wisely, my friends. XRP, there might be an ETF coming very soon. There's some really good things that look like they're in the pipeline. This thing could be a sitting powder keg ready for an explosion. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. XRP, it's been seven years, but it's really looking like now is the time and we're going to see something happen. We'll talk to you again. This is not financial advice. I'm always right. I appreciate each and every one of you. We'll talk to you again very, very soon. If you want to stay up to date on all the goings on of cryptocurrency, then you need to follow me on cryptonomy.finance. My name is Bleeves Crypto, and this is my latest article, Tapped In, The Evolution of Digitally Linked Assets. Go and follow me. Learn a little bit about cryptocurrency. It's very important. Uh, Cryptonomy offers high quality research from professional analysts, 24 seven instance support for every community member and other information channels where critical updates are posted daily. I'm going to leave a link down below for you to go into each one of those channels, the Cryptonomy update, the Cryptonomy finance and the Cryptonomy news channel. One of the biggest plays right now is real world assets. So I am about to drop 1100 link into a staking contract that's going to last me for nine months with a 64 0.8% return. Just like that, we're staked. Guys, if you're interested in keeping your money and making more of it, then cryptonomy.finance should be on your radar. Sign up today.